I think the biggest regret I have is doing the gaining thing. I've removed years from my life out of doing it. I know that I, I'm hopefully restoring some of them, but I had replaced my sexuality of, of you know, where you, you, sh you, you, the desire, the goal is to share yourself with others, you know, uh, your body with others and other, and other, and enjoy other people's bodies. And, you know, um, that, had I, I had rerouted that to self sexuality uh, when it in in my body and in body modification is what that what it essentially had happened and it it wasn't always that way but uh, it started off as uh, me wanting to to be more of what others who are heavy who enjoy it like and that was the thing that i always found the ones who liked being heavy only liked being with those that are heavy i'm not going to say this is always 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 the case but you know you know i, I was somewhere between 128 pounds and 135 pounds you know I was skinny but that was my build and um, when I would go to bear events um, if it was some there was some sort of a thing where people would get prizes or something you know they they were nice enough to give me some sort of prize for being the the skinny one the the little skinny guy um, kind of hippie looking skinny guy had long hair and um, but you know not many people you know came up and talked with me and such um, there were a few and and I made some friends but the rest of the, the group just you know I, I was kind of ignored um, which I mean, people have their taste. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna say they're bad. They're, you know, I'm not gonna act like some of these, some uh, some YouTube channels where oh, you're supposed to be attracted to me or you receive guilt trips. No, it's it's not like that. But uh, um, you know, I thought I needed to change, and then eventually my wanting to change turned into an obsession. To the point where I was making YouTube videos shirtless, uh, showing off my fat as if it's some great grand thing, you know. I just have memories of, uh, of, like, being like really majorly rejected at some parties, <laughs> just like in ones where there's there's it's a, basically an orgy, and then I come around and it's just like, uh, all right, sorry. <laughs> You know, um, but then because I was hippie-ish, you know, I didn't fit into the, uh, uh, the twink crowd, you know, with the twink crowd, you're, you know, there's, there's a whole set of things you're supposed to be there, you know, I didn't fit in anywhere, um, and I wish I would have just been satisfied with with that and just went to other places, you know, not try to go with the gay community, not try just just go, go enjoy nightlife at, you know, go watch some shows, go, go focus. You know, if, if I could go back in time and give myself advice, it would be it would be that it would be that don't focus on trying to fit into these gay groups. Don't do it. Stop it. You know? That would be the advice I'd give myself. You know, as far as my body, I don't think I'll ever have a body type that will interest anyone again because, you know, it's I will have been heavy and then you lose weight and then you have the skin, right? Um but at least I'll I'll have my health 
to Quintka. Yes, you were right, and I'm sorry. That doesn't mean I suddenly want to be your friend, so... I guess I don't want more to say in this video, so... Banana fungus.